Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashim. This is today's deadlift workout. So the way this workout is set up is I do I'm doing the I'm doing supersets of deadlifts and back exercises, specifically three row wave variations that I'm going to be cycling through. I'm going to be doing dumbbell rows, high to low band rows and band upright rows. So the way this works is I do a set of deadlifts uh, and I superset that with uh, a back exercise. Then I take a break then I do deadlifts again and I superset it with the second back exercise. Then I take a break and I do my third deadlift set and then I superset it with the third back exercise. Then I come back to the first back, ex back exercise and I'll do the fourth set is going to be a deadlift and then the first back exercise again. Uh, and then fifth set is going to be deadlifts and then the second back exercise again. So in short, I'm doing deadlifts, dumbbell rows, deadlifts, high to low band rows, then deadlifts, upright rows, then deadlifts, dumbbell rows again, then deadlifts and high to low rows again, and then deadlifts and upright rows again. So these are six sets. After this, set number seven is when I superset all the back, back exercises by themselves. So I'm going to be super set number seven is a superset of dumbbell rows, high to low rows, and, and upright rows. And set number 8 is not a super set, it's a regular set, it's just me doing a really heavy single on deadlifts. Today I did 222.5 kilos which is 491 pounds or 96.7 or 97% of my 1 rep max, whichever way you, you want to look at it. And uh, after all of this I did 5-4 sets of biceps, I did preacher curls and uh, yeah so this is the, the basic overview. Now what I've done differently in this workout is, uh, first. I'm doing deadlifts with a heavier weight on the first six sets. Uh, last week I turned 207.5 kilos, uh, working up to 217.5 kilos. This week I worked up to 220 kilos, which is 485 pounds. After that, uh, in addition to that, for the back exercises, the, I have added two reps to the dumbbell rows with 40 kilos or 88 pounds. This is of course the weight that's on the rod. Uh, the rod itself is I think 3 or 4 kilos. I'm not sure, I'm not really bothered to weigh it. It doesn't really matter because the rod stays constant. It's just that the plates, the, the adjustable plates will keep changing. So whatever. Uh, 40 kilo dumbbell rows for 12 reps instead of 10, which, which I did last week. So two reps have been added to that. For the high to low band rows that you guys are going to be watching, I've done 20 reps this week. Last week I'd done 17. And for the upright rows, I did 23 reps this week. Last week I had done 20. That's it. So. I've added two reps to dumbbell rows, three reps to high to low rows, and three reps to upright rows. And then for the superset number seven, where I've just superseted the back exercises that I've spoken to you about, in that I increased the weight on the dumbbell rows from 40 kilos to 45 kilos, and I dropped the reps from 12 to 10. I am using straps for all the dumbbell rows because uh, this particular barbell is new ish and uh, it tends to really really rip up my hands and I don't really want my grip to suffer or for me to be distracted by grip pain towards the heavier sets. So just to keep me balanced I have used straps for the dumbbell rows. Also I don't think with uh, 45 kilos I could have done 10 reps uh, just using my palm not with all this other grip work that I've been doing. And uh, speaking of grip work I also got my hands on a rolling thunder and I'm going to be using that. I'm I might not I might take a video or I might not I'm not quite sure it's not I didn't use it for this workout and um, so now my grip training is going to be involving uh, the captains of crush grippers I've always been doing that uh, consistently so I'm going to be going forward with that I'm going to be cutting down the workload and the frequency a little bit because I'm going to be making room for uh, static holds with the fat grips and static holds or heavy lifts with the rolling thunder so I have three grip instruments that I'm going to be using at which are at my disposal over a course of the 10 day cycle that I'm going to be that I am on right now, I will be doing five gripper sessions and four event sessions. Events is whatever I choose between the rolling thunder and the static holes with the fat grips. Alright, that's all I have to share with you guys for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your love and support. Thank you very much.